Hi, I'm well. As you may know me, I'm Dirt. I'm. Uh, I recently took a nice cold shower and just shaved my face just for this recording. I, maybe I should have recorded myself shaving my face. And um, more importantly, I am an artist and illustrator, and um, I love to do it as a hobby, and as a. Um, and now as a career and profession, but I am not really professional now. Am I? And uh, <laughs> uh, and as an artist, I love to make anime and manga-inspired artworks, paintings, and at the time, uh, inkworks as well. I used to do a lot of line art, but currently, painting has been my uh, uh, main mode of expression and joy. And um, and uh, I remembered, like, uh, when I was a kid, I I, uh, I used to draw. I've been drawing as long as I can remember, but when I was a kid, like, I remembered my mom, like, uh, made me do it out of um, therapy because she thought I was part of the spectrum or something. And, uh, <laughs> and like, um... It was kind of an on and off. I just I used to just make bad doodles back then until I met a guy when I was in thir when I was 13 years old, first year high school, and I um, and I was taught the basic fundamentals thanks to his uh, thanks to his knowledge at the time. Um, as uh, personally as an artist, I I wouldn't be where I am now thanks to the people I've met. Thanks to the people who taught me, I'm I learn by soaking in the experiences of others, and it just so happened that uh, it just so happens that I've mostly been exposed to uh, people who can draw, who have the quirkiness, the drive to create, and I want that too. And um, not only that, I grew up more than being an artist. I am mostly a, a consumer of entertainment. Before I was even into drawing, I was mostly into uh, watching cartoons and anime, playing video games, playing my favorite RPGs, play, uh, watching movies like Star Wars and uh, uh, and um, Lord of the Rings. And until now, I'm still watching. I'm st until now, I'm still watching movies, but this time for the sake of visual. But I digress. And um, the thing is, I also want to put like uh, my influences to my art. See, my art, as I've said before, is anime inspired, and I also take inspiration uh, take inspiration from classical paintings because I love their sense of storytelling. I love their subject ma uh, subject matters like um, knights, princesses, and there those elements are also present in uh, the stories like I grew up reading not only watching and playing but reading like I, I used to read um, children's book stories of uh, of, of uh, European folklores for um, that uh, the talk tales of valor of heroes of knights villains prince uh, princesses here um, lovers and infidels <laughs> and uh, I um, and it occurred to me that's how and it occurred to me that sense of storytelling, that sense of uh, um, idea of expressing valor is how I want to uh, express in my art, which is why currently my, my painted works really feel like that. Uh, I want them to feel like you're, um, you're uh, <laughs> looking at, uh, art, looking at uh, something that's maybe part of a story, part of a game. I want my artworks to feel like they come from an RPG game. RPGs are like my bread and butter, man. Like, um, I enjoy video games, but I also enjoy video games with storytelling, with unique characters, with amazing art direction. I wouldn't be where I am now thanks to Final Fantasy, to, uh, to games like Legend of Zelda, even though that's not really an RPG. And, um, and even until now, like I still go back time and time again just to like 
play old video games, not just new ones, because there's something about 2D sprite graphics that make it feel like you're like looking a uh, looking at an animated painting, if that makes any sense. And uh, huh. As I've said before, I I uh, met people growing up. I met different artists, and I wouldn't be where I am now thanks to them. I was, yeah, I mentioned I was, in th I was 13 years old, and uh, at the time, like it was all on and off. I didn't know. Um, I when I was 13, I was taught basic fundamentals. I didn't, I had no idea what art style was or anything, but I just kept doing it. I didn't know if I was going to be an artist until suddenly, you know, college came and I decided to take art school in maybe, in maybe the uh, worst school here in college. And um, I, um, over time, it, and it's in, but in, it was in the school where I met my uh, my art my my art circle. My circle of friends were very inspirational, very artistic, and I wouldn't be here where I am now if it's not them. If it if it ain't for them, and that's why like I think it's very important to be uh, as an artist. You need to be adventurous. You need to go. Even if you're introverted, extrovert, doesn't matter. They're just labels. You need to. It's uh, in my experience. It's you need to go explore and meet other people. Even if you're shy, it's fine. Because uh, those people you meet, they're, they'll be shy too. But even if they're, but even if they're not artists, even if they're, uh, even if they have little experience, whatever they have can hold such an impact to you. Every person, I believe, has some wisdom to tell, or at least has some wisdom in their own. In their own life and story so I think meeting people is also it is very important very productive and and just as productive as being adventurous and and um, absorbing good influence like um, always like uh, always watch good entertainment always watch good television always watch good movies always play the best you know, always play good video games uh, not on. I mean, like, uh, not only you uh, do what you uh, like, what you enjoy, but it's also good to explore what uh, more you could enjoy from, like, say, a genre or an interest, because uh, because that knowledge, that knowledge of finding something uh, something so rare and something so unique, can be applied to uh, to your to your art, to your talent. Because I think that I believe that in turn. You can absorb that uniqueness too, and you can have this, uh, and you can even grow wiser from finding uh, out about this and that, finding about like uh, this one obscure video game, this one, uh, this one um, hidden art house film. I mean, I think it's good to explore. Exploring, basically, generally, explore, explore to meet people, explore to find new entertainment. And uh, and uh, I'm not really the best advi uh, guy to give advice and wisdom, but but uh, and, and also um, be most of all be good to people. One thing about I've understood about art is that it's more than just having uh, talent and a skill. It's also about um, it's also about it's also about um, having uh, it's basically a reflection of self-love that makes sense well it does to me it does make sense that it that art is a reflection of self-love if you are kind to your art if you take care of it if you hone it then you hone yourself as a person you become better at it I believe good I believe good art can reflect a good person. I believe that um, I believe a per uh, someone who uh, takes his time to hone his craft 
would uh, also hone his wisdom, his spirit, his mind. And uh, I think approaching uh, things with approaching talent and skill with spirituality is a great way of uh, opening your mind to uh, creativity and possibilities. Thank you for your time.